everyone, so today I am doing a review, um, kind of a dull review, on this nail art foil that I recently picked up from BornPrettyStore.com. Um, very inexpensive, and is color number 19, and it's this beautiful fuchsia, um, foil. And, uh, it's gorgeous, like, it's so holographic, even in real life. Alright, and then to use it to adhere I have this is foil glue also from bornprettystore.com I will have the links down below which I've been looking forward to for a long time I've been buying foils and you can use um, your nail polish you're using you add a second coat and you wait for it to get tacky and then use it but I just want to go ahead and try the foil and probably the nail polish method at the same time right and so um, they say to use a dark color because it makes it easier to see it, if that makes any sense. So I have this awesome, awesome clean color nail polish, which I got from shopmissa.com. And it is clean color number 5 black, and this stuff is amazing. I did my nails with one thin, incredibly thin coat, and it is so opaque and black. Like it rivals my Conad stamping nail polish. If I just open it, you see how black and pigmented that is? It's amazing and I love it. And it's super shiny. I've had it on now for about three days and it still looks good. I just chipped this nail right here and that's pretty much it. I mean, all the nails look really good, so super excited. And I have it swatched here on this. Again, one really thin coat and um, awesome coverage. Um, I'm not really sure what I swatched it for. I think I used the foil on it too, but you know. So, um, it comes just like this from Born Pretty Store. And you think it's just this one square, right? Well, no. You open it up and look how much foil that is. It, it's insane. It's like four squares. So, what I'm going to do is this last flap. I'm just going to cut it off to use it. Kind of like the size of my thumb. This stuff is gorgeous. And I've never used foils before, but I've seen a couple of videos. Alright, and then you just fold it back up and save it for another time. I'm just going to put it back in my little baggie. Um, I also have this in a rainbow color, but I think that this pink would look really cute. So I'm going to put that to the side. Alright, so like I said, I've had this nail polish on for a couple days, so um, it's nice and dry. And here's just my little strip. You don't need very much. So what I'm going to do... Move my scissors. Move my scissors. Alright, I'm just going to move that just a little bit. Okay. Take my glue. And this one doesn't have any kind of marking instructions on it. Some of them do. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to uh, start my index finger. And I'm going to wipe off um, a good bit of it. And just going to do a thin, even coat. Alright, so all I'm going to do is just let that set um, about 30 seconds until it's just about clear. And whenever I tap it, it'll be sticky. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's maybe been uh, 10 seconds as you can see. It's almost clear, but not quite. And whenever I tap it, it's like incredibly sticky. So I'm just going to take my foil and oops, put it on the nail. And just smooth it out with my finger and rip up. Oh, how cool is that? Oh my gosh. Wow. Right now, all I'm doing is just taking my. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I've never worked with foils before. Wow. That's a gorgeous violet. I'll have to take some still pictures of that in the sun pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do 
I think I'll put my ring finger in this, and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so for my first time, I think this went really, really well. Um, I think my index finger went the best. With my middle finger, um, you know, I applied it, but in one area I applied it too thick, so I had a little bit of trouble with that because it didn't want to stick where it was still, um, like, wet and not tacky. But I think it turned out really well. And um, I did my index, my middle, and my pinky. And then on my thumb, if you can see, I did, like, a French with it and um, I think it just looks awesome and here is just all of the foil I used you can see the empty spots on it and that's it and I still have all of this foil that I can still use um, probably for my other hand but um, I think that just turned out awesome and um, with some kits you can buy on bornbrainstore.com and other places um, it comes with the top coat that's specifically made for foils. Um, I have, or I don't have, I don't have any. But if you have a fast drying top coat, um, like how I have such feet, um, it's not good to use because it can like shrink the foil, I guess, where it just dries too quickly. And um, I have some top coat not near me, but it's. Um, I think it's an OPI top coat, but um, it's not a fast drying, it's just like a regular set drying. So I'll go ahead and do that, and for my ring finger, I might do what I did on my thumb, the um, like the French tip. But I want to thank you all so much for watching, I will have the links below down to this, and um, this is actually a lot of fun. So uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.